We have a bipartisan effort. We all came together about one thing and for one thing only. Right here. You see it behind you. The Mamie A. Clayton Library and Museum. I'm Earl Ofari Hutchinson, and um, I am the president of the Los Angeles Urban Policy Roundtable. Do a show on KPFK Radio and some other places. About three weeks ago, I um, am surfing a little bit on my Facebook page, and I see a blur on my Facebook page from a small paper in Culver City. The blurb was, Mamie A. Clayton Library and Museum will close down. I said, wait a minute, close down? I can't believe this. And I'll tell you why in a second. When I saw that, I thought it was a joke at first. I said, this has got to be fake news. This has got to be somebody's idea of a late April Fool's joke. But I have to tell you, it was not the case as we well know. So after reading the article, doing a little bit more research, I said the library, the museum and library is actually threatened. Why is it threatened? It's been here 12 years. My understanding going back when Yvonne Brathwaite Burke, and I know the history, when Yvonne Brathwaite Burke was supervisor, she cut a deal, worked with the library, and said, because they needed a place then, Mamie A. Clayton, may she rest in peace, bless her soul, had this fantastic collection of films, a treasure trove, a repository of this great history of African-American films, literature, and art. I mean, it's a cultural treasure, something the world should appreciate, and we certainly appreciated it. Certainly I did and many others. We knew at the time when Mamie A. Clayton, in her later years, she was very concerned. What's gonna happen with this, this treasure trove? These films, libraries, this history that would be lost. So back to Yvonne again, she cut, uh, cut a relationship with her, and then, of course, the building. This used to be, for those that have lived in Culver City for many years, probably know, this was a traffic court at one time. How do I know it was a traffic court? When I got a, pro when I got a traffic ticket. Guess what? I ended up here in court. The building, after the court moved over to Santa Monica, the building was empty for a period of time. Now we come back to Yvonne had a relationship with Mamie Clayton, said, I value the films, it's going to be here. She donated, we thought at the time, we thought the building, a public building, county building, was donated to the Mamie A. Clayton Foundation. We thought in perpetuity for one dollar. Now, years later, the library is here, as we well know, tours, classes, workshops, Literally thousands of people in the community, students, scholars, have come through here. It's been a great venue, a great facility. It's living history. So we thought that it would stay that way, at least as long as we're around, and maybe generations to come. Now, of course, as we well know, we found out year by year a lease. That's not the case. We found out a certain supervisor had an idea. The idea is take the building and make it so they claim a constituency center. I don't know how true that is. I don't know anything about that. That is the party line that we're hearing. It doesn't make any difference. The fact of the matter is, this is a fact. It's been here. It stayed here. It served a purpose in the community. We also hear something else. We hear that, oh, you have a university that has stepped in, California State University, Dominguez Hills. I happen to be an alum of California State University, Dominguez Hills. I know, and I'm, I have no problem with them. Oh, they'll take the collection. There's one problem with that. If you take the collection, you lose the building, you lose the facility, you lose the community access. You're not gonna be able to walk in to Cal State Dominguez on the seventh floor on a building that's 10 miles back, paying God knows what, how much for parking, I mean, can you imagine community people going there to a library? It's going to be buried there. Here, the world can see it, can feel it, can touch it. It's here. So now we come to what can be done. I came out here March 31st. I did a Facebook live stream. I said one thing and one thing only. It's not going to happen. We are going to fight, and we're going to fight, and we're going to fight hard. 
to save Mamie Clayton, to save the Mamie Clayton Library and Museum. We're going to fight hard. We're not going to roll over. I heard some defeaters say, oh, well, it's a done deal. The county, they own the building. No, the county doesn't own the building. You own the building. Do you pay taxes in the county? You own the building. Uh, I have to, we have to remind some people every once in a while. This is not your plaything. This is not your toy. This is not something that you can just say we're going to do something with. For some suspect, as we well know, Culver City is prime real estate, prime development real estate. This is prime property here. Could you imagine a developer coming in right here? Can you imagine? This is a gold mine for them. The fact of the matter is, it's not about dollars for us. It's about something else. It's about living, breathing, a beautiful history that has to be pre preserved. It's about a vision that a woman had decades ago when she started collecting those films in the back of her house, in her garage, in her li little library. You've seen the pictures. She had that vision. And then you had some in the county that shared that vision and made this beautiful facility centrally located available. So it comes down to this. Are we going to lose this? No. Are we going to allow this to happen? No. Are we going to allow one person to say, I want this building for whatever purpose? Are we going to allow that to happen? No. I'm not a defeatist. I believe in fighting when there's a good cause. And by the way, it's a fight that can be won. Uh, in, the, in the last few days, some people have come to me and said, well, you know, it's their building, it's a done deal, it's going to happen. No, nothing is done until it's done. I mean, if that was the case, why are we even here? Why do we even breathe? Why do we even exist? Nothing is done. That's defeatism. I mean, that's like, <laughs> that's like me as a boxer starting a fight and, and, and throwing in the towel before I even leave the corner in the first round. The fact of the matter is, you came out today. There is so much power. And I'm not going to be a, go through the cliche thing about power to the people, although it's true. There's so much power when people come together. I just know one thing. There have been many times when I have stood on a street corner for an issue. And oftentimes, I thought I'll be there by myself. Sometimes, one or two people might come out, but then something happens. Other people come out. Other people are moved by it. Other people see the importance of it. Other people know it's absolutely important to be engaged, to have a presence, to bear witness with your body and your person. By bearing witness, you're sending a message. And what's that message? The message, again, as far as the Mamie A. Clayton Library and Museum is concerned is, it's not going to happen. We're not going to let it happen. We have a petition now. In fact, there are two petitions now. There'll probably be more after the day. We've collected several hundred signatures, and we're going to collect more signatures. And you know where those signatures are going. They're going to the Board of Supervisors. We have the names of all the supervisors, not just him, but all five supervisors. We, not just him, but all five of them, because they co-sign each other. We have their email addresses. We'd like to get their phone numbers, but we'll leave that out. Some even give their home addresses. We'll leave that out. We have their email addresses. We have their fax. We have all of that. We have to use it. We have to flood them and say it's not going to happen. We're not going to allow this to happen. We're determined to do that. We've kicked the ball off. You came out today. And I have to tell you, that is a major step forward. But anyone else that wants to say anything, that wants to share an experience, about the importance of saving Mamie A. Clayton. Come right up. Hello, my name is Shannon Theus. I am a delegate for this area of Culver City, California. I am also the recording secretary for Culver City Democratic Club. I'm also a longtime citizen and lover of the main L.A. Clayton Library. I actually came here two years ago um, with the Culver City Democratic Club and was blessed with the tour of the facilities. And just as a black female millennial, I have to admit that I find myself estranged from my own culture. And to walk through the halls here 
was um, there's an African term called Sankofa, in which you go back and get what you lost. And just walking through the halls here, I found myself experiencing Sankofa. I couldn't stop crying in a beautiful way just because I saw how the art informed so much of my personal experience and culture, um, and so much of my personal ambitions are actually shaped by the, by the characters on the walls. I was actually shocked and surprised to go down one of the corridors to see the picture of my deceased father hanging Sunship Theus and to see how intricate this museum is. They actually have a folder of my family here and the different members and Lloyd opened that and showed we've been not we've been tracking you in like a in a negative sense but we've been celebrating the legacy that you are a spawn of. I had no idea this was there happening this is you know my, just my own personal story i i was so uplifted and empowered and it really did get me more involved in the community in the center and that's just my own personal story i keep encouraging other people to just come into the museum and let it touch you you'll be so surprised by the what you'll find within yourself while walking through the halls so this is a gym it's so rich with so much potential of empowerment for the individuals and it's absolutely necessary to preserve yeah, I uh, actually, Earl, right after you convinced me to abandon my dream to go to UCLA, and I took off to go to Howard, Avery and I became real good friends. I even met Mrs. Clayton. I saw the pain and the struggle she went through to keep this collection intact. Avery took it to the next level, and unfortunately, he passed on untimely. But um, this collection meant so much. The film collection at one time was the largest collection of black films. She has some Phyllis Wheatley books in here. I mean, it just goes on and on. And she, she dumpster dived to get a lot of the books in this collection because UCLA threw them away. This museum is not just historical. I saw the sweat and the struggle that went into it to keep this place alive. And if I didn't say something today, I think Avery would turn over in his grave to know that I was here and didn't speak up on behalf of this place. So uh, we can't let this get away from us. These were the people that in the 60s and the 70s, I was influenced by. It was my culture too. Not just African American culture. It was my culture too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, African American history is American history. I want to thank you all for the unified effort of coming together. Again, we can't do this alone. Uh, yes, we do have the mayor of Culver City here, but I want to say that it's time out for politicians doing what they want to do and not having full disclosure. All right, it's time for us to stand up against Goliath and take a step. And the Manny A. Clayton Library and Museum is just one step that we can take as a unified effort. So I say enough is enough of allowing politicians to continue to run around and do what they want to do. It's a shame and enough is enough, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for coming out. And speaking of the mayor, <laughs> Ms. Mayor, we got, <laughs> got on the microphone. We love that. Mayor. Sally Wells, not Vice, the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for coming out today. We appreciate that. Well, Ms. thank mayor. you, and, and I agree. We um, have a responsibility as a community to celebrate, remember, and continue our history, yes. especially African American history. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, indeed. This is the most important collection of its kind west of the Mississippi, right. and well, we are well. so lucky. Yeah. to have it here in Culver City. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is a point of pride mm -hmm. that it's been here for over a decade. In fact, we work with a local architect pro bono to create a project that would have the Mamie Clayton, a constituency center for the second supervisorial district, and affordable housing for artists. Wow. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, a it's a beautiful, beautiful proposal, uh, and the answer was no thank you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thanks for okay. no thank So if not this, then what? There was no answer. Stone silence. So 
I, I really think it's important to bring public attention to this most important collection. And, you know, when, this, when the county sends a press release saying that it wants to protect this collection by evicting it, <laughs> I mean, that's straight out of 1984. <laughs> So I, I hope we can all rally together to protect this most important collection for our history, for our kids. This is in walking distance from yes. our high school, our middle school, um, and several other schools. Walking distance right across the street from our senior center. This is our most important cultural corridor here. And it belongs in Culver City. Thank you. Ah, yeah. One final thing. Um, where do we go from here? At this point in time, we have started something. We've sent a message today. We've been sending that message all along, really. And it's been said a million times. It can never be said enough. A million and one, a million and ten, who cares? The museum is here. It must stay here. The museum, it's simple. It's not complicated. The museum is here. It must stay here. We have several petitions. Hopefully everyone, at the very least, will sign the petition to the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. That's the least we can do. Hopefully a second thing can be done. Take the petition. They do read these petitions, and numbers do count. The second thing is let everybody else know. A friend, a relative, associate, let them know. A third thing they can do, we have the email addresses of all the supervisors. Take a second, let them know. We have a Facebook page, Save, Mamie, Save the Mamie Clayton Library and Museum. Save it, nothing else. So there are things that are put in place now. Culver City is behind it 100%. That's huge. When you have a city mm -hmm. behind an institution in the city, that tells a story right there. Because this is a battle we're going to win. Yes. Pull a card on unagendized items and tell them just how you feel about the Mamie Clayton being evicted. I have um, announced, and I did this several weeks ago, that we put, we're putting together an exploratory committee for me, a run, at the supervisor's seat next year for the yeah. second supervisor. Hold the, uh, the thing. This is not a campaign pitch, but it just is a preface to what I'm going to say. The supervisor now that has led the charge to take this building. He's not even going to be here in another year. He's turned out. So, which makes it even more ridiculous what's being done. When I am elected to the second, which Culver City is in, the second supervisorial seat, I'm going to pledge one million dollars to the Mamie A. Clayton Library and Museum. One million dollars, and I'm not finished. The second thing, will, my pledge will be this, and the building's going to be here. Um, we will, we will launch a national fundraising campaign for the Mamie A. Clayton Library and Museum. The third thing, we'll guarantee the building in perpetuity for that one dollar. This will never come up again. You'll never have to come out on a Sunday again with your, your placards and your flyers. The building will always be here in perpetuity. That's my pledge. All right, I want to thank everybody for coming out. We took a lot of time today, but it was worthwhile. Mamie Clayton took decades to do this, so I think at the very least 30, 35 minutes isn't going to break the bank and kill anybody. Thanks again. Thanks. Where's the mayor? Ms. Mayor, thanks again for coming out. Yeah. And we definitely appreciate that. And keep coming out. Thanks again.